Sorry guys, this uh, Kill My Giddy 4 here back again. Pretty much this is actually the Tory to remove. The GTX 670, you're probably going to see me right here. Um, you have different type of screws to remove this. I mean, the cooler is really easy. You got to remove, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. And then this is holds the CPU here. I will start going from the outside. Use the metal screw. I mean, I have different type of screwdrivers, but the, these, this one's the most trustworthy I have here. Um, just really, really easy to remove. First screw. Yeah, this screwdriver is the best one because I didn't really use it. Uh, And just comes off. Yeah, you're gonna tell the dramatic temperature drop. This is going 81, almost 83 Celsius, full load. Um, I, you know, I tried to get the EK block, but it was just too expensive, and it was just I couldn't, I couldn't be doing it more. I mean, I liked it for a little bit, I just can't afford it anymore. No so I decided to get the XSPC uh, Raystorm uh, GTX 670. That good, and I seen a video. Um, Juggalo Jason, he did a video of this, and he had his computer, and um, convinced me to get it. And I found this deal really good, so I couldn't, you know, kind of lose it out. Um, anyway, so you got to be careful with this. This spring loaded. Uh, it's really easy. And the screwdriver uh, probably is a one or two. You can hear that click noise. It's obvious that it came off. Really, really easy. It's really simple, this screw. And I can tell the card's already uh, kind of flexing and wants to remove. Just hold the frame. There you go. This should just lift up. Just remember to remove the 4 pin mini off the uh, that. And put this away, and that's it. Right. You gotta be careful, this just tends to will come off. What we'll do is Nothing really holding that cooler down. So, I mean, it's exposed. What you do with this right here is spring loaded. Okay, this is going to be kind of. Trying to get this removed. This one kind of be weird. Um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I have to figure this out because I don't want to tamper with that. I'll be right. All right, guys. This uh, Kill My Kitty Four here back again. Uh, this is actually I took apart the card already. This was a pain to remove this little heat sink for the the RAM right here. You have to kind of angle, and there's little tabs right here really pain in the ass to remove and everything this is a uh, this model of this was the Kepler G14-32582 uh, it's 2 gigs of RAM now I'm going to install this block and everything um, 
follow the instructions. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, obvious. Follow, clean it up, put the stuff here, and that's really about it. I'm um, gonna do that. Uh, it won't take me too long to do it. I'll follow the rules with this manual. I sold this, and um, I'll be right back. All right, this Kinlock 84. All right, guys, this uh, Kinlock 84 hair bag again. This is actual installed my block in the back plate. This is my Access PC Race Storm uh, Razor GTX 670 and the back plate installed already. Already, this is like the most sickest plate ever. Back plate, like it just looks just it's ridiculous, awesome. Imagine having two of these, that'll be great, but one to be adequate what I need big upgrade this thing's so freaking heavy like i mean it weighs a good about i'll say about four pounds now it's six inch long six and a quarter long now it's a multi-port so i'm gonna close these up and use these instead be a lot easier look a lot better and you could still put more if you want there is a bridge that xspc makes if you like and this model was the P uh, P two thousand four dash LF revision one. Means this means reference has two VGA HDMI and DisplayPort, and really about it. Two six pins required. Um, just got to remember to make sure that you install correctly everything. Do not tighten it really hard because it might strip your the screws to the actual stands. What I like about it that uh, XSPC do is they put the metal screw uh, the stands in between the actual block it means that you're not required to, to need and it's made out of brass means that it's not conductive. What I like about that. You could tell a little bit over here that the car is actually bending a little bit due to the support of the uh, let me see. It, it's not really, it's not really flexing a lot. You can tell it's not that bad, but I mean, should be perfectly fine. Yeah. Then you got the black screw holding it down. This, so I expose it's like this. Got the serial number right here blocked off. I mean, I have to remove it. Thank God. Let me get the the stock cooler. This little guy was a pain. Stock heat sink. Well, we gotta clean that off. Well, that's one piece. Here is the cooler that completely off. Got a little dirt on me. The, the goo. I gotta clean it off. And this was the pain in the ass to take off. This is a sprayer that goes right here, blows the fins, and pulls it down. What you gotta do is you have to hit the tabs a little bit in the corner. Slide them back and forth and come off. Anyway, so this is pretty much how it looks like. We'll see what well, I'm going to do a recording, how the performance gain, and how much the crap I got overclock this damn thing is going to be. 81 Celsius was a full load. It took me less than about 30 minutes to do it. The Fuji poly pads was, you use a quarter sheet was adequately enough I only use half not even half of it and that equals to uh, both uh, pads and everything on top and bottom and um, or right, anyway you guys have any questions leave a comment down below and guess favor and like the video thank you very much this came like 84